Hi, welcome back. My name is Abel and uh, I guess it is about time we do a follow-up video on this particular product that Strukov has to offer or uh, even this, the Idea Pro Gold. Okay, uh, before we go straight into the video, I would like to mention that um, the disclaimer statement that this is not a piece of financial advice and you should not take it uh, take this whatever I say in this video lightly but you should pay um, with much attention into what you do with your money and you should really view me as just some stranger out there trying to sell you something and you should proceed it with caution and uh, do not hold me responsible if you lose money after watching this video and after using idea pro go or ipg in short that kind of thing so yeah but if after watching this video you do make you know some good amount of money do post in the comment section down below so that um, people will be able to learn or you know to be able to uh, pick up you know some sound piece of advices here and there and come to a more informed or sound decision okay so with that out of the way um where should I start? There were quite a number of people who have used Strukov's product, especially the IPG, and they just left concluding having a very bad experience using it. Uh, most of them who have left, they will conclude saying that, you know, be careful with IPG. Using it will blow your account. Well, personally, I would agree with them. Uh, if you use IPG, there is a very, very high risk of you blowing your account. And simply because the IPG expert advisor was designed in such a way that it is of, you know, the higher end of, you know, the risk meter. So IPG is a very, very high risk EA, you know, in my opinion. Um, if you are looking for something that's safer, you know, that that there's low risk, then look at Almanac, okay? Even Strukov, you know, he were to say that, you know, Almanac is much safer. Lower risk, you can look at isolation, uh, that kind of thing. So different products, they do different things. But if you were to have your mindset on IPG, or if you were to decide on buy IPG, or if you are even using IPG and it's not working so well, for you you need to understand that ipg yes first is it's a high risk ea secondly you need to have a good sizable account or equity or funds in order to run ipg simply because ipg was designed in such a way based on the martingale system uh, martingale is actually a recovery system you know if you were to suffer losses over time, you should be able to recover because of this system. But sometimes you may recover quick from your losses, but there are also times whereby the market may be very, very slow and then uh, there are lesser influence, you know, affecting how the market goes. And then, so therefore a recovery might not be in the very same day. It may take two to three days, weeks, or even months. So if your account size is not sizable enough to support that kind of you know to, to withstand that kind of duration then most likely your account will be blown you get margin call emails by your you know broker and then yeah instead of profiting you would end up with much lesser money now i do agree that all of us out there you know we are trying to make the best with what we have and uh when we first hear what you know people say especially if you're in the strukov's group and then you do see you know people posting profit statistics on ipg that kind of thing it is quite natural for you to jump straight into it and without taking the precautions into perspective so uh, i hope this video will help you to safeguard your funds because it is not fun to lose money and there are many ways there are actually ways to help you to you know to safeguard yourself from losing much more money now you should also know that if you're in the trading world for some time 
IPG do not use stop losses. So if you are thinking of you know using the IPG EA and you want to put a stop loss there, don't. It doesn't work that way. Simply because Martin Gear is supposed to dig the hole as deep as possible in order to recover from the losses when the market reverses. Okay. So if you were to put the stop loss there, then before it's most like quite likely, okay, that before the market even recovers or reverses, your recovery may not have kick in uh, from Martingale compared to your stop loss. So if you were to put an SL there, if you're thinking of it, then IPG is not for you if that's how you have been trading all this while. So yeah, you got to let IPG do what it does. And at the end of the day, or sometime down the road, if, and I say this, if your account is big enough, you will see your recovery. Okay, you will see a recovery only if you allow the room and the time for Martingale to work. Okay, so now does that mean able that if I have only a limited amount of capital to invest into forex, then I shouldn't use IPG at all? Well, yes and no. Uh, yes, as in. IPG is not for, for example, if you have only a hundred US dollars to invest in the Forex. If you were to jump in with just a hundred US dollars, even with the lower, lowest lot that you can assign in or on the EA, uh, chances of you bringing up your account is still very, very high. Even if you were to start with a thousand US dollars, rolling up your account is still very, very high. So does that mean that you should stop considering IPG at all? Well, no. In fact, I'm going to share with you today a very good piece of advice. Or I'm going to show you how that you know even with just a hundred US dollars, you can use IPG quite safely and still get in the profits that it is able to generate over time. Okay. Uh, now, in order to do this, it all depends on your broker. Uh, talking about brokers, there are so many out there and you should be very careful on choosing your broker because uh, some of them, uh, they offer, well, different packages. Some of them, they are more lucrative compared to the others. And some of them, they are very shady. Now, how to know whether a broker is trustworthy or not? You have to see whether they are, you know, protected or governed by a rich body to monitor or, you know, to regulate their operations. So, uh, choose a reputable broker. Uh, for me personally, I started with ICM, okay, IC Markets. And then uh, now I'm with Robo. Forex. Uh, the reason why I chose Robo Forex is this is uh, they offer send accounts. Okay. Send accounts. Uh, at first I didn't know what send what the send account was. I, it has been discussed uh, on and off, you know, in Strukov's group, but then no one actually talked in a more detailed manner or gave more meat to it. Or more, in, more input to it, you know, how using a cent account would help you, you know, to trade with IPG. And uh, so I started with IC markets, and then um, many will also uh, tell you this that, you know, make a raw spread account, uh, and then um, you save on the commissions. And uh, for every dollar that you put in, you still get the dollar's worth, that kind of thing. So how different is this a send account compared to like you know a raw spread account that I first started with ICM? Uh well on a raw account, if I were to put in a hundred US dollar, I was able to trade with only a hundred US dollar. But with a send account, if I were to put in a hundred US dollar, I will get ten thousand US dollars to trade with. Because how much you put in is being translated into 
sense. So instead of limiting you with so little headroom for you to you know play with or for Martin Gill to work its you know recovery magic, uh, go with a sense account and you'll be able to see you know how much better IPG works in a cent account compared to a raw spread account. Well, that is if you have you know limited funds, but if you have a lot more funds to put in, I personally believe that a cent account will be the way to go too because you can just increase the lot size count while at the same time giving you more room to play with for that matter so yeah so far what we've talked about the IPG is this is that it's high risk and with high risk it doesn't really work well with a small capital but if you have a small capital you go with a cent account now I am using RoboForex and uh, I'll also post my affiliate links down below and uh, if you were to open you know accounts using my affiliate links uh, it will give me a certain percentage of commission which is at no charge on your part so if watching this video you know you know that it has given you a way out or you know a brighter or, or a light to this dark path that you're walking on then uh, yeah I would appreciate it if you were to use those affiliate links and yeah to show you know a little bit of appreciation you know for spending time to you know to get this video done so yeah now there are two versions of IPG I personally feel that MT5 works much better even though on the MT4 platform there are more users you know trading on it it is the biggest market out there and you have many people trading on the MT4 platform compared to MT5 now the reason why I I am recommending MT5 is this uh, the execution is much faster well simply because MT4 is an older system and it caters only for you know forex market it doesn't do you know indices that kind of thing uh, so yeah I actually tried comparing MT5 and MT4's IPG's performance last week same settings on both the EAs and I noticed that the MT5 actually opened more positions compared to the MT4 IPG and uh, the MT5 was able to generate much more profits than the MT4 one so it's entirely up to you you know if you want to use MT5 it's your call MT4 is totally your call as well so yeah uh, open the cent account now I'm gonna give you much more than just to tell you to open a cent account I want to give you the settings as well once you have opened the cent account so if you were to look at terminal okay this is the MT5 terminal and then uh, you see RoboForex here and you have the IC markets as well uh, the EA is here so let's uh, now I, I like go because uh, there's so much movements with go many people will tell you do not start with go because it is very very high risk and you can just lose your money in the very single day and yes it's true uh, but if you were to use go so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add go okay I'm gonna open the charts now if you were to trade go because it's so volatile and then you know you can see how go moves okay so if you were to use something that's high risk and you're trading on something that's even higher of risk well you are headed to destruction literally yeah if you're not careful so this is what you could do okay so go to the m1 m1 chart okay enable algo trading and 
put your attach the EA to the chart now uh, just that you know to double to, to make sure that everything's at default so this is what you see okay this is the setting page that you'll be greeted with you know if you're using IPG so it's version 2 and uh, yeah this should be the latest okay so um, now most of the time IPG or most of Strukov's EA is good to go at default but because of certain pairs that you're trading it on you need to modify the parameters a bit to trick it a bit to match your you know trading appetite for one or even to match you know uh to 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 uh to suit your uh trading appetite or style or methods for that matter so if you see max orders on mt5 is defaulted at 100 uh, on mt4 is just 10. now this one you need to change if you don't when Matikleo kicks in and if recovery is not so soon what your EA will do uh, what RPG will do is it will keep opening new positions at the loss until the max orders are met so you wouldn't want it to be opening at the loss with you know, a limited account size and you know it's trying to hit 100 that kind of thing so bump it down to 10 lower that kind of thing starting lot do not be greedy if you're not sure how deep martingale can lead you start with 0 0.01 monitor it for a week or two and then uh, you can you know revisit this later on or even your max order as well and decide for yourself whether your account is able to withstand that kind of you know draw down should market did not recover you know instantly okay so this is false distance okay this is something that i learned last week if you're trading on gold because it's so volatile it is only wise to set this uh, using a higher value so you can go 250 and go 300 and go 500 so that you know the orders will not be open that frequently from the last that you know it was being placed now can you imagine that if you were to just run a hundred you know max orders and then you did nothing with this distance and it is going down south all the way you're losing more and more money and it's it just came out opening positions in the wrong direction it's not really helping you much right so yeah you might want to bump this up if you're trading on a volatile pair to you know to 50 or for some people you know uh, if you're on Strukov's group you we would recommend 500 as well so 500 max lot 5 now trade profit if you're trading go go a thousand on other pairs you can go like 150 200 or even a hundred and then you, you see how how the market goes to see uh, whether the take profit actually fits in well there stop loss i did mention earlier that martingale do not work well with stop loss so leave it at zero so it's not used uh trail start i leave this at default max spread i learned this last week too uh, it is not advisable to set this zero because uh this is actually uh, a risk management that uh your ea will not open any positions if the spread exceeds the value that's defined here so uh, normally gold will go very high so yeah if on that particular day you know for example gold somehow was misbehaving it was going bonkers it's going erratic that kind of thing super high highs super low lows that kind of thing so having this set will actually safeguard you from you know those swings that your EA might not have been set to handle and to you know safeguard your account effectively so max spread you can just keep it at 200 you can increase it entirely up to you okay all this you don't need to change 
Now, uh, UV also said for this upper level, change the value to 25, lower level change it to 5, okay, and then the K period, the first one, okay, change to 14. So these are the few, uh, few settings that you need to meddle with, and uh, if you don't want to set it again, just hit on the save, and then save it under a file name of the set, so that you can just pull it up the next time you want to trade it. You know, on another account for the matter, and you don't need to punch all these numbers ever again. So it's because it's all safe. So with this, uh, you are quite set to go, okay. And you can trade away, okay. So yeah, these are settings that you need to work on. Uh, if you're trading IPG on gold, okay. I guess it is also proper for me to show you this. Um, you want to be safe. You do not have much capital to invest into Forex. You try to get the most out of it. I've never, uh, I've never understood this, or I've not been made known to this. But do you know that when you're trading? you can also get cashbacks so for me personally i use cashback forex you can find my affiliate link again down below so uh what you do is you sign up with them uh for the trades that you do the positions that you close every single one of them will help to generate more money for you and you can choose whether it's credited on you know cash cashback forex or is credited on you know one of the training accounts should you you know choose uh should you choose uh robo forex ic markets what that matter now in order for that to work you need to first open an account with a cashback platform so cashback forex so sign up and uh yeah you'll be good to go so let me show you what I'll see. Okay, so once I've registered with Cashback Forex, head up to, head on to dashboard. Okay, uh, you can ignore this. So these are all my accounts, uh, which you do not need to know. Uh, do not need to, and uh, this is you can set. You know, uh, so this is how much cashback that you have. This is how the cashback is being transferred out from Cashback Forex. So you actually can, uh, you, you can actually, you can um, set, assign how you are being paid. So, uh, and then the quantum as well. Okay. Um, now, you see this. So you need to pay attention to this part, broker accounts. Okay. So what you do is, you start by opening a cashback account on Cashback Forex. Then... Click add account and then you look for your broker. So since I'm using Robo Forex, so I'm gonna type Robo Forex and then it is here. Okay, and then click on get cashback. So please read this because uh it it'll tell you what to do when you register on when or when you create a, an account on you know Robo Forex or any other uh, brokers that you choose okay so it says here it gives you an option okay open a RoboFox account and then what kind of cashback do you want monthly basis or paid directly to your broker account for me I like to see it I guess I'm impatient so I like to see instantly so I chose this and then read this existing account holders please open a new account you see you need to open a new account members area and in the affiliate code enter FVSR for monthly or JAPC for you know uh, to be paid directly into your broker account so since I chose this so for me would be JAPC okay so if you click this it should link you straight or bring you straight to Robo Forex okay now remember this that uh, even though it brings you straight to Robo Forex, uh, the affiliate code is not entered like 
automatically you need to do it manually by yourself so let's log in a little recap okay open an account using my affiliate link thank you in advance choose how you wish to be paid okay uh, now so this is how the dashboard looks like on RoboForex I kind of like it because it's very simple it's very straightforward and you don't get lost and so far I've opened many accounts using RoboForex and it doesn't give me the you know that, that loading error that kind of thing uh, whereby you know, the service down or service trying to restrict your request that kind of thing so it doesn't give that okay now uh, if you have linked it successfully so what happened is ah, you see it increased I got credited again so you see we based from partner so if you click this if you have set it up correctly it will show you how much they pay you so JAPC see JPC so it this shows that you know it's being linked properly so yeah I got paid two dollars mm, I mean like why not it is good money I mean for trading alone that kind of thing so yeah mm, next thing I'd like to show you is what you get uh, using a sense account okay well we're, now we are having our mind fixed here that we are only using sense account okay so let's start with a new account so these are the few accounts that I started okay now you see balance is at zero okay so let's try to deposit some money into it okay 2373 2373 MT5 because I like the execution speed okay and then balance is zero so let's add some money okay 100 USD okay we're just using 100 USD deposit funds so yeah we have just deposited a hundred US dollars into this account okay it should be reflected here uh, let's see if we can just refresh it oh see so you get 10,000 USD cents now the wonderful thing about this is if you were to open your uh, MT5 terminal you see how much you gotta play with 10,000 USD okay so yeah it gives you much more room to trade with and definitely helps you to lower the risk of trading using IPG as well so it's not all that bad uh, only if you know how to you know uh, control or put you know the risk management system in place you should be able to safeguard account well should you use ipg so yeah i guess that's all for this video and if you have found it to be beneficial the least you can do seriously the least you can do click on the like button hit on the subscribe button who knows i'll be coming up with more truthful videos you know on how you can better manage your trading plans for the matter and uh, if you want to do more and uh, what I've shown you or let you to have made you you know earn much more you can show your love you know send me some stuff you know one of the methods down below so yeah I hope this has been helpful this is Abel thanks for watching and it is 5.16 in the morning I can't sleep and I've decided to make this video for you enjoy